Hi, this is our second program on functional groups, and we'll look at four more functional groups. So let's begin with the presence of nitrogen in our carbon compound. If that nitrogen would be connected to a chain of carbon that I'll represent by R, that nitrogen could then be connected to a second chain of carbon or a hydrogen, or it could be connected to a, another chain of carbon or a hydrogen. This particular group is called an amino group, and it's a class is called the amines. So here I can see the presence of nitrogen, and here an R group connected to a hydrogen and a hydrogen, fitting the bill of an amine. Its condensed formula would be CH3, CH2, 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 and then NH2. So the presence of N there indicates an amine. As far as naming this particular compound, we've, we've got two options. One would be butyl amine. So there it is, indicating it's a, in the class of amines. But it could also be called 1-aminobutane. In this case, we're using the prefix amino. Either of these constitute an amine. Moving on to our next compound that has nitrogen in it, but we also have a doubly bonded oxygen in it. And this particular combination is called amido. And it's a member of the amides. So here I can see that combination right there. And it's condensed formula, CH3, C-O-N, so there's what I'm looking for, and that's connected then to a hydrogen from the nitrogen, and CH2, CH3. Now the name of this particular compound would be ethyl ethanamide. So there's what's going to give it away in the name. Lastly, carbon connected to chlorine, but it could also be fluorine, bromine, or iodine. In fact, any of the halogens, and these are called halogeno. And it gives rise to a class of compounds called the halogenoalkanes. So here I can see that particular group and its condensed formula then, CH3, CHCl. So there's the characteristic I'm looking for, CH2, CH3. And in terms of the name, this one would be called 2-chlorobutane. Moving up to our final functional group, we have a carbon ring, the benzene ring, and this is called phenyl. And it's a member of the arenes. So here I can see the phenyl group attached to this chain of carbon. Now we don't need to worry about naming these particular compounds, we just need to be able to recognize the functional group phenyl and that its class is the arenes. So now let's take a look at a couple questions that cross both of the programs we've had on functional groups. So each of these molecules has three functional groups. We're to circle them and name the functional group. So I'll begin with that combination. Chlorine, a halogen, so this is a halogeno functional group. Down here, this oxygen. Now this oxygen is connected to a carbon that would be at that vertice and a carbon that would be at the end of this line. So that 
oxygen is in the middle of a carbon chain, and that is an alkoxy functional group. And lastly, this vertice C would represent a carbon, so I have here an oxygen-carbon-nitrogen combination, and that is the amido functional group. Moving on to my next molecule, doubly bonded carbon. That's an alkenyl functional group. Here, a nitrogen connected to a carbon chain this way and a carbon chain this way and a hydrogen. That's an amino functional group. And lastly, oxygen and an OH. There'd be a carbon here as well at that vertice. So I'm seeing that particular group. And from our last program, that's carboxyl. So that brings us to an end of functional groups. Be very careful in questions, whether one is asked for naming the functional group or the class of chemical. Be careful not to get the two mixed up. Thanks for watching.